Well, hello, 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 and here we are once again. This is something for you. This is Robbie Basho's Songs of the Avatars, the Lost Master Tapes, as you can see there. This has been brought to you into, in delicious 4K. Try it with a different, with my other camera, and uh, we'll see how the autofocus works. Yes, this is five CDs. All the tracks are unreleased, and you can get a poster and a booklet uh, to look at. For those of you who aren't familiar, Robbie Basho is a, well, I don't know, what, how do you describe him? Folk? I don't know, he's more eclectic than that. Go on, Swissy. Oh, look at that, I've stabbed it. Look at me rip and rend. Look at, look at me rip and rend with my manly hands. I'm ripping and rending. Ah! Oh, I'm surgical in my precision. Ah! Oh, have you ever seen anyone unbox a CD box set like that before? This is unique. This is a first for YouTube. Look at me skillfully tear away the cellophane as if it's a flap of skin and then unpeel it. It's like it's like something from Silence of the Lambs, isn't it? Look at that. Perfectly preserved. I could probably fit it back in that cellophane if I so wished. But yeah, this is Robbie Basho. He's a folk um, music, but it's mystical. It's more spiritual, spiritual folk. It, you have uh, folk elements, but you'll show you have Indian mysticism. Also, um, culturally, you, he veers into the Native American experience. There's a lot there. And there you can see there's a poster of him playing there with an audience at his local uh, retreat. Because he was um, a follower of the Meher Barber. Pete Townsend, his guru, I don't know if you remember. And uh, yeah, Pete Townsend was aware of Basho. And there we go, he's a... Here's the first disc. Probably autofocus isn't going to be that tight, so you'll have to squint. Oh, it's black. None more black. And we, oh, nearly dropped it. And we have some mountains. And a mystic, a mystic on the mountains, indeed. Uh, again, you've got this kind of lotus, lotus flower type, you know, Indian design there, replicated on each sleeve. And here we go. Like I said, Native American imagery. Did you have that on your Robbie Basho bingo card? If so, strike it off. What's on this one? So we've got another. Oh, it's doing that again. I wonder what it's going to be next. Is it going to be? Oh, we have the great outdoors again. Again, the countryside, the American countryside is a vista for his songs. I wonder what the next one's going to be. I wonder what it's going to be. Religious, some sort of religious iconography. I, I'm, I'm gambling. Let's see. Off. That's not bad, is it? Is a nun. I don't remember him singing about nuns though. Got a bit of Catholicism in there. And for the final one, I'm I'm going I'm going I'm going full guru on this. What do you reckon? Guru? Thumbs up for guru, thumbs down for something and yeah, I was right. It's the guru Oh I've dropped it. Oh shit. Oh I'm I'm in trouble now. And that's the guru himself, Maha Baba. Don't worry, it's not a vinyl record. I can throw these things all over the floor, it doesn't matter. Oh I've dropped it again. Oh I'll keep dropping it now. Oh, what a clumsy klutz. Um, so here's the booklet, which I won't be able to read because it's the words, it's too tiny. It's, look, it was that, nine point? I had eight point even. It's probably horribly out of focus, but I can't tell. I can't tell because I'm looking through the viewfinder. And to me, yeah, it's a blur anyway because I haven't got my glasses on. <laughs> but yeah, you've got an idea of what, what this is. There's some pictures there. There's, there's Robbie himself. With the guitar, he does. He also played twelve string. He's uh, these was his instruments, six and twelve string. He's um, yeah. I mean, he's an amazing, amazing player. You know, I, I'm very, uh, very astounded with his ability, and he has he has a voice, which has you know been ripped off by was it Anthony and the Johnsons? If you if you ever listen to that fellow, though I think that guy's transitioned now into a lady. Oh no, I've dead named him. I'm going to get cancelled now. I don't know what his new name is. Sorry. Um, I just know him as Anthony and the Johnsons. Um, has a very similar voice to Robbie Basho. Kind of nicked his style. Um, and yeah, I mean, he's just, again, he's an artist I wasn't familiar with. And it's only in the past past year that I've become a full Basho head. Um, there's something, I don't know, kind of feeds the soul. It's my kind of soul music. And again, he's a very odd fellow. There was a, there was a documentary I did do. I covered. I did do a documentary by Liam Barker, who actually wrote some of the sleeve notes for this. Um, I did review that, and it was very good. 
though I doubt any of you would have watched it. I doubt if anyone's going to watch this because it's it's Robbie Basho, and I don't know if you guys are interested in it. I'm interested in it, and that's what this channel is about. Um, but anyway, I'm going to have a good time looking through and listening to this. Um, like I said, I've got five CDs to get through. Um, from the Master Tapes, Out of the Vault. Anyway, my name's Darren Ock. It's been Songs of the Avatars, The Lost Master Tapes. Extreme Close-Up by Rabbi Basho. Thanks for watching. There's only one more thing left to say. You should know what that is. Are you ready? Prog on! <laughs>